Productions presents the Veggie Tales Christmas Spectacular. We were excited that we were finally going to get one of our shows on TV, so we did a deal with PAX uh, that had just started. It's like, well, this will be fun. Let's see if we can, you know, a new network. See if we can get a new audience to come to a new network to watch Veggies on Christmas. Larry. Yeah, Bob. This is network television. I know. Do you know how hard it was to get a network to turn over an hour of airtime to a bunch of vegetables? Well, I love Christmas music. So when we had a chance to do a, a Christmas show, I thought that was going to be a lot of fun, which it was. Uh, but we didn't use a lot of traditional Christmas music, so I had uh, a lot of fun trying to sneak it in where I could. For example, on the Silly Song, uh, Oh Santa, da 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 at the end there, through the whole verse, you hear Jingle Bells underneath there. Uh, at the very end of that song, you hear just a line of Joy of the World. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. With a lot of the silly songs, it's kind of a conglomeration of a few different experiences for me. Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come, and I've got cookies. You know, I think Oh, Santa, um, you know, obviously I wanted it to, you know, have a Christmas theme. Um, I had uh, just seen, um, my wife and I went uh, and saw the play The Kiss of the Spider Woman with Cheetah Rivera. <laughs> and so um, we had just seen that, and there was a song in that that kind of caught my attention. It was, it, and it wasn't really the melody of the song, it was more of the style of the song. There were two singers um, kind of in a duet, and then they would, their, their lines would overlap, and they wouldn't be the same lines. So, you know, they'd be, you know, kind of uh, singing over each other like that in a really kind of a cool fashion. So I thought, oh, well, that'd be really neat to, to do something like that. We could do that, too. We could do that. <laughs> we yeah. can sing at the same time, too. <laughs> Yes. We thought that, and then, um, and so, um, uh, you know, so I came up with this concept of, you know, Larry, um, you know, having these cookies ready for Santa, and then, um, you know, different people would come and, and take his cookies besides Santa. In the score, it's fun to sneak in some Christmas songs here and there also, but some of them aren't as familiar. For example, uh, there's this one. See if you know this one. <laughs> Which is Willie, take your little drum, da da dum bum bum. Uh, but I like to sneak that in where there's some real action sequences. Bum 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 bum. But so I change up the rhythm and kind of hide it in there. The messages are almost as much for parents as they are for kids. You're like, hey, let's just look at how how stupid this is. Mm -hmm. You know that we're all running around. Got to have it. Got to have it. Got to have it. And it's stuff that no one needs at all. So that was uh, the genesis of Buzzsaw Louie. The little, you know, like, what if an action figure, you know, like a Cabbage Patch Kid, stood up and said, hey, this is ridiculous, you know? You don't, this isn't what Christmas is about. You don't need me. I'm just a little stuffed sock, you know? Uh, and that's, you know, that's the storyline. The toy that saved Christmas was another step in the chain. Every show we make leads to discoveries that enable us to make the next show, make every show that much better, that much bigger, that much grander. Uh, the stuff we learned in Toy That Saved Christmas went on to be used in uh, Larry Boy vs. The Fib from Outer Space and Josh and the Big Wall, and they in turn taught us things to make the stuff that came after them. I think Big Idea Productions is the only company that makes children's programming that handles faith issues in such a relevant, real way, with great humor and enjoyment. So it's it's a joy to work with. But originally, it was like everybody just kind of had their fingers crossed. They prayed in the morning, Lord, we sure hope we don't lose anything today, uh, because we don't have time to back it up, nor do we have the funds to pay for backup. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Hi kids, Bob the Tomato here with a great activity you and your family can try. It's all about learning how to give. Uh, you know, instead of only thinking of yourself, just like Mr. Nezzer learned in the toy that saved Christmas. This activity is called Here's the Scoop, Getting a Handle on Giving. To play, you'll need plastic spoons, tape, newspaper, plastic cups, a bowl, a watch, and some kind of light snack food. We're going to use candy, but you can use marshmallows, popcorn, whatever you have in the kitchen. To set up, everyone needs to take a big sheet of newspaper and roll it tightly into a tube that's two and a half feet long or so and about an inch around. Tape it down to keep it from coming open. 
Then tape the handle of a plastic spoon on one end of the tube. It should look like a spoon with a very, very long handle. And remember, when making this contraption, the little folks might need some help from the big folks. Okay, now everybody needs to sit in a circle around the bowl of candy with their stretch spoon and a plastic cup. You have to hold the cup against your stomach for the entire activity, and you can only hold the spoon by the very end of the handle. But the littler folks can hold the spoon closer to the middle of the handle. It's only fair. Okay, everybody, we've got one minute. Go! So here's how you play. You each have to get as much candy as you can in your own cup in one minute. Remember, your cup has to stay in contact with your stomach, and you can only hold the very end of the handle. Start scooping! Do you think more practice will help? Try a few rounds to see if you can get more candy in your cup. Now's a good time to talk about what you learned. What's the solution? Does it have anything to do with what Mr. Nezer learned in the Toy That Saved Christmas? He learned how important it is to give, and not to just think of himself. Now, can you figure out the solution? Well, kids, that's all for me. I hope you had a great time. Oh, and if you're still stumped, check out our website at www.bigidea.com. We'll post the solution there. Merry Christmas! Hi, everybody. Judy Asparagus here. Today, we're going to show you how to make penguins. Real penguins, but tasty snacks that look like Mr. Nezzer's penguins from the toy that saved Christmas. My mom told me that first you'll need some jumbo black olives and some small black olives pitted. You'll also need some cream cheese, chopped chives, salt and pepper, toothpicks, and one big old carrot. If you want to add Bob and Larry and me, you'll also need a cherry tomato, a small pickle, a small spear of asparagus, and another big old carrot. Tyrone and Matthew are going to help me out today. Hi, Tyrone. Hi, Matthew. They're my friends. Okay, now you'll need to get a grown-up. Very important. Get a grown-up to slice the side of each jumbo olive and chop the chives. That is, if you like chives, you don't have to use them. The grown-up will also have to slice the carrot into rounds and cut out a triangle for the feet. Don't need the triangle yet, okay? You're gonna need it in a minute. Let's see, what's next? Okay, after the grown-up is done, mix the cream cheese, chives, salt and pepper, and put it into a pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, any plastic bag will do. Just cut one little corner with some scissors. Now this is the fun part. Squirt a little cheese mixture into each jumbo olive. Take the little carrot triangle beaks and press them into the small olives, just like that. Here's a hint. A grown-up might have to cut a wedge in the small olive first to hold the beak. That's what mom did for me. Oh, great. Now it's time to put it all together. Take a jumbo olive, put it on the carrot slice, and then put the small olive on top of the large olive. Aren't they great? But wait, there's more. If you want a whole veggie tail scene, just like in the toy that saved Christmas, Take a small pickle, a cherry tomato, and the top of a little spear of asparagus and put them on a carrot sled and put the whole gang on a little plate of cottage cheese snow. You might even want to dress us up with scarves and hats and earmuffs. Be creative. Use whatever you have around the kitchen. Like this, we used corn chips for the feet and mom made earmuffs out of blueberries. And there you have it. Bob, Larry, the penguins, and me. It's not really us, but don't be afraid to eat up. You know, veggies are good for you. Snack time!
That's right, Larry. Members will get all kinds of cool stuff, including a VeggieTales video of their choice, an official membership certificate, exclusive toys, and our bi-monthly newsletter, The Veggie Bee, full of activities your whole family can enjoy. Be sure to see the insert that came with this video, or come to BigIdea.com for more information. The super fantastic Veggie Fan Club is the fan club you've been waiting for. Don't miss out.